Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Chrissy. Uh, I work full time in the banking industry and in my spare time, I'm an avid runner and I enjoy reselling. Um, I have a thrift haul today. Um, I went downstate, um, I live in Chicago, but um, I went downstate to Central Illinois over the weekend um, to go see my family. And when I was there, my mom uh, asked if I wanted to go thrifting with, with her. And of course I said yes. She wanted to pick up some items for herself and I'm always up for going thrifting. So um, we went first thing when Goodwill opened and um, uh, sourced some stuff. Um, like I said, she got a couple items and then I did as well. And then we also went to the buy, sell, trade, which I picked up a very awesome item. So I will show that at the end. So you want to stay tuned for the whole thing. So, um, everything's in here. I have left the prices on, this is my listing box stuff I need to list. So, um, I left the price on everything that way I can let you guys how much every, let you guys know how much everything costs. Everything at the Goodwill um, in my hometown is way cheaper than um, the Goodwill up here in Chicago. It's about half the price, so I love sourcing down there. Um, okay, so the first thing I got, I love picking up bras, is this bra. Um, it's just this seamless, um, it has an insert for like a cup, like if you wanted to put in like the foam cups, but it didn't come with any. And the brand on this is Soma, looks like it's in good shape. It's a size medium and it is the sport seamless ballet back. And like you can adjust the straps. Like right now it's um, set up to be like a cross back, but you can also change it the other way. So it's a regular bra. And I only paid 250 for this. Um, Soma bras, I can usually list for, I don't know, $25. So they're, easy to list, um, easy to store because they're so small. You usually make 12 or $15 off them, but I mean, um, easy pickup. Um, all right, so I got this for me. Um, it's just this silk cami and you can see that stain in front. Um, it is 100% silk. The brand is made well, it's a size six. Um, I took a chance on it. I only paid two fifty, considering just throwing it in the wash <laughs> to see if this comes out. Um, I know I just got this for me. It's just this cute cropped silk cami. I think I'm just gonna try and throw it in the wash and see what happens. If anything, I'm out a couple dollars. So, all right, this is a new to me brand. Um, this is Cooley Bar. Um, I looked it up when I was there, not worth a ton, but um, I don't know, 35-ish dollars. And it's one of those UPF 50 um, sun protection um, type base layers. And again, the good thing about my Goodwill, this is only $3.99 um, spring. It's well, even though it's <laughs> April 4th, um, it's like 30 degrees here, but uh, Spring and summer's coming up. People are getting ready to do outdoor activities. And even though this is white, I looked it over extensively and it looks like it's brand new. So there's that. All right. So these paid for themselves the second I got back. So we'll show you. They are just these little jean shorts. They're Wrangler. I think these are vintage. I, so somebody, it was a DIY, because if you look, it says six by 32. So they're a size six and they had a 32 inch inseam at one point. So somebody just cut these off and made them into cutoffs. And I was like, oh, these are cute and they're my size. I might, you know, try these on to see if I'm gonna keep them. I tried them on, they were really cute. And as I had them on, I felt something like stiff in the pocket. And I'm like, what's that? So I reached into this little pocket here. There was $6.75 in there. And these only cost me $4.99. So these already paid for themselves. So like I said, I did try these on. These are cute. I might look at comps first before I decide to, um, to keep that, to keep these just because I know these are pretty desirable. These like actual, like, these are like no stretch, 100% cotton, like actual like jean jeans. So I don't know if I can get 35 or $40 off these, I'm probably just going to sell them instead of keep them. All right. Um, let's see. All right. So this is another find. So 
if anybody else is uh <laughs> lived this uh craze when it first happened um I used to wear this all the time in my early 20s. So this is Juicy, and this is like original Juicy Couture, not the um, the new stuff that they sell at um, Kohl's. And I can tell, because this is um, made in the USA. Um, it's, th this is like the actual original Juicy. So this was only, I think it was a $2.99? $3.99. So I will go ahead and list this. Um, I haven't, honestly haven't ran comps on these yet, but um, and I'm hoping for $25 or $30 on this. Um, I know people are looking for this like Y2K stuff, and this is like actual like Y2K. All right. Um, these I bought for me. Um, I couldn't tell just because it had the size tag here and that it had the... Um, just the high rise slim. They're just like a straight cut high rise um, pant. But on the button, it says free assembly. So I don't know, they're just some cute um, jeans. They're only $4.99. So I got those. Um, let's see. Bought these for me. I should have tried them on. I don't like them. So if anybody's interested in a pair of side pocket running shorts, um, I only paid $5 for them. Um, I'll probably just list them on Poshmark for like 15 bucks. Um, all right, what else? Um, is that it? I think that's it that I got. Oh, no. Hold, please. I'm looking for the other one. Okay. You guys, I saw these and I had to get them. They're only $1.99. I think they're only worth $10 or $15, but they're DBL barrel, double barrel. These are the cutest little baby like cowboy boots. Oh, these are so cute. I don't know if they're real. Here, I'm gonna look. If they're real like leather. No, polyurethane, but I just thought they're just little infant boots. They were so cute. They're only $1.99. So I got those. Um, I think that's it. I have other stuff in here that I still need to list. Okay, so that was it for Goodwill. Then I went to the buy, sell, trade store. So I just got this for me. I'm going to Las Vegas in a couple weeks and I wanted a pool cover up, but I just thought this was cute. The brand is Surf Gypsy. It was only $8, so I just got that. And then I also got this cute little Lily Pulitzer. I don't remember how much that was, like $10. Okay, so this is my find of the weekend. Um, so, oh, wait a minute, did I miss, oh, I missed one thing from Goodwill. It was on the bottom. Another Soma bra, size medium, just this seamless bralette. Again, I don't know, $25, $20. I'll probably just accept offers, and it was only $2.50, so. Okay, so back to my find of the weekend. So I was going through, I always go through their purses. I picked up some great purses there before. Um, not that they, so they price things like, of course they price up like their coach or their Tory Burch or whatnot, but sometimes I'm able to find designer purses or great brand purses. Um, they're marked up, but not as um, up as they should be. So I purchased an Olivia Harris purse there like years ago. I carried it for a while and I sent it back to thread up and I basically got like what I paid for it there and I got to keep it for a couple years. So I always source there. I know I'm going to pay up for items, but there are instances where um, paying up um, is okay because it's worth, you know, way more than what they had it priced for. And this item is an example of that. So this is Henry Bendel. I like gasped when I saw this. So um, if anybody um, gets the thread up DIY designer boxes, they do include this, um, this brand in there. Um, the company is no longer in business. Um, I think they went out of business 2018 maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so not only were their items but, um, hi highly desirable and expensive when they were in business, but um, since they went out of business, like, you know, you can't, I mean, there's only a limited supply of them. So I found this, um, there is a flaw. This charm 
thing is missing here. It's like a little, it's like gold, I don't know, little tchotchke that goes on here. So that's missing. But other than that, this is in excellent condition. There's a couple of stains, there, there you go, on the back. It looks worse on the camera than it really is. The inside is in perfect condition. Um, so yeah, I, like when I saw this, I immediately, I'm like, oops, sorry. Um, like I have to get this. They had this priced at $55 and I had a $10 off coupon. So I only paid $45 for this bag. Um, I am going to keep this and carry this for a while. Um, when I do choose to sell it, there was a girl that had the same color, same exact bag. I think she had it um, listed for $450. Um, I know this is missing, so that definitely takes the value down, but for $55, even if I chose to sell this for, you know, $250, $300, whatever today, um, you know, I've already, I've already made my money on it. So, but yeah, it's just a, a tote, and then you can also, I prefer the backpack um, setting on it. So, yeah, so this was my find of the weekend. I'm very, very happy about that. Let me just make sure I don't have anything else in here. Um, no, we've um, shown you all that before. So, all right. Um, so yeah, Peoria was good to me. Um, I was very happy to come back with that. Um, so um, some days the thrifting's, you know, okay. And then some days, um, you know, you do, you do well. And, you know, this makes it um, all the other days that you don't have a good day. Um, you just remember there are days where you're, you know, you're not going to get much and then you're going to hit the lotto like I did over the weekend. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, if you have not yet, uh, subscribe. Um, I've got some Goodwill blue boxes coming up. Um, I've been, haven't got as many, I used to get thrown up boxes all the time. Um, I just been busy work with work and I haven't been able to like constantly refresh throughout the day like I used to. So, um, yeah. All right. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.